Today we're going to learn how to perform a vertical mattress suture. For this suture, you will need a needle driver, pickups, suture, suture scissors, and your behind the knife suturing board. The vertical mattress stitch allows for greater closure strength and allows for better skin edge eversion. The suture is good for areas like the posterior neck or other body areas where the skin commonly inverts. So we're going to start by picking up our needle drivers and loading our needle into them in the orientation for a forehand throw. The suture is thrown in a far, far near near fashion. It's going to look something like this. The first throw is going to start around five to eight millimeters from the wound edge and will go fairly deep into the wound below the dermis. The first throw for the suture may be difficult to do in a single bite, so I will take it in two. I'm going back into the wound here, below the dermis, and coming out around five to eight millimeters on the other side of the wound. For the near near portion of the suture, the needle will be, need to be in the needle drivers in the orientation for a backhand throw. For the near near portion now, we're gonna enter the skin within one to two millimeters of the wound edge and this will be superficial where the needle should stay in the upper part of the dermis. This throw is easier to take in one bite, so we'll come out on the other side of the wound here within one to two millimeters of that wound edge. So at this point, both ends of the suture thread should be on one side of the wound. We'll now instrument tie these ends so the knot is on the side where the suture initially started. When tying this knot, the suture should be tied down snug, but not excessively tight, as the tighter the knot is, the more eversion of the skin edges, which will produce a more extensive scar. Once you've cut the suture here, you've completed a vertical mattress suture.